A 55-year-old female patient was admitted to the CCU with circulatory failure. The attending physician performed a physical examination and ordered some diagnostic procedures. The woman has just had a chest x-ray and is now being prepared to undergo a pleural cavity puncture. This procedure is essential to detect the presence of any liquids and their chemical composition. The patient signed the written consent to the procedure. She was well informed about its purpose and the procedure itself. Having verified the documentation and the patient's test results, such as blood count, coagulation factor and blood type, the nurse went to the patient's room to discuss the pre-treatment steps. Good morning, Miss Madej. Today you will have a puncture to your pleural cavity performed, so I would like to prepare you for this procedure. Good morning, nurse. I feel a bit anxious, so I'm happy that we can talk about it now. I have so many doubts and questions. It is natural. I will try to explain all the procedure characteristics to you today. But of course, please feel free to interrupt me and ask whenever you have any queries. Oh, thank you, nurse. So, how should I prepare myself? You will not be given your regular medicines today. I mean the anticoagulants and the acetylsalic acid. In two hours, you will be taken to the treatment room, so please refrain from drinking and eating. And please use the toilet if necessary before then. It is good that I managed to have my meal recently. Are there any other necessary preparations? Yes. Before you leave your room, please take your jewelry and glasses off and your dentures out. You can store them in your bedside locker. Okay, I will do as you say. The nurse goes out to prepare the necessary medical equipment for the procedure. A puncture needle, PVC, peripheral venous catheter, a scalpel, pleurocath chest drainage system, needles used for fluid suction, disposable surgical cloth with an opening into the chest cavity, dressing materials, gauze pads, plaster, disposable gloves, tweezers, scissors, bandage clips, a kidney-shaped basin, a sterile tube, a graduated cylinder, a pleura puncture set, analgesic drugs and proper equipment for its administration, disinfectants and a medical waste container. Additionally, the nurse collects PPE, personal protective equipment, such as gowns, masks, safety glasses, gloves, and head coverings. After two hours, the nurse comes back to take the patient to the treatment room, equipped with an electrocardiogram machine, an oxygen tank, a suction set, medical rescue equipment, and drugs used in emergency medicine. Miss Majay, we are ready to start the procedure. We ask that you work closely with us during the procedure. You must inform us about any side effects that might appear, such as sudden pain, dyspnea, general weakness. Of course, I will do my best to cooperate with you. Before the doctor comes, I will insert a PVC into your left hand and apply medications via the IV route. According to the doctor's orders, you will be given analgesics and antitussives. These medicines will facilitate the performance of the procedure. Do you agree to that? Well, yes, I agree. However, I do not really understand what antitussives and IV root are. Can you please explain? IV means that we will administer the drug directly into your vein via peripheral venous catheter. Antitussives are drugs that will help to suppress your cough. It is a routine element of thoracentesis. Thank you. Now it is more clear to me. The nurse follows all the rules and procedural steps when she was inserting the PVC into the patient's vein. Just as the doctor was entering the treatment room, the nurse was about to administer the necessary medication. Good morning, Ms. Matik. I'm Dr. Mazurik and I will perform a thoracentesis on you. This is basically the same as the pleural tap, which is an invasive procedure to remove the fluid from the pleural space for diagnostic purposes. Can you please remove your pyjama top and sit on this chair, back to front with your arms leaning on the table? Okay, doctor. Is it the right position? Not quite. Please move closer to the table. Yes, that's fine now. The nurse will cover you with surgical cloth, uncovering the puncture site at the same time. All right, thank you. 
Meanwhile, the doctor washes his hands, puts on protective clothing such as a surgical gown, a mask, safety glasses, gloves, and a head covering. A moment later, the nurse prepares herself in a similar way. Ms. Matik, I'm about to start the procedure. First, I will administer IV analgesics so that you can feel no pain. We'll wait a few minutes for the medicine to start to work. Then I'll insert a puncture needle to the intercostal space to take a fluid sample from your pleura. You may experience slight pain during the injection, but it shall recede quickly. Please do not move and refrain from coughing to avoid contraction of the muscles of the abdominal press. Do you follow me, Miss Magic? Well, yes, at least I'm trying to. But, Doctor, you are using phrases that I've never heard of. I can well believe it. We do not need to analyse the whole procedure in medical details. For you, as the patient, it is important to stay still and avoid coughing at the moment of injection to reduce the level of pain and possible complications. Thank you, Doctor. I will do as you say. You will also be asked to hold your breath at the moment of inserting and removing the needle. And remember, if you feel any worse, please tell us immediately. Are all the steps and instructions clear to you now? Yes, Doctor. Just please remind me, when should I stop breathing? Right as the needle is inserted into the pleural space. The nurse will tell you when. Okay, I understand it all now and I feel ready. The doctor sits behind the patient while the nurse approaches with surgical equipment placed on a medical trolley. She assists the doctor by handing over sterile medical equipment according to the procedural steps, whilst at the same time watching the asepsis rules. Just as the doctor takes a sample of fluid from the pleural space, the nurse places it in a special container, signs it and prepares it for sending to the laboratory. When the needle has been removed, the nurse covers the puncture site with an antiseptic dressing. Ms. Magic, we have just finished the procedure. How do you feel? Well, I didn't feel any discomfort. I guess I'm fine. Thank you. The nurse will help you to get dressed and return to your bed. If you feel any irritation or soreness in the area, don't hesitate to contact the nurses on duty. Okay, Doctor. Thank you so much for your care.